Hello and uh, thank you for taking your time to watch this uh, video abstract. My name is Joel Berquist and I am a co-author of this publication named New Evidence of Increased Risk of Rhinitis in Subjects with COPD. I will in this video abstract present the background and main findings to our research. This research uh, focuses on common chronic conditions in the respiratory tract, particularly non-infectious rhinitis near and chronic obstructive pulmonary disease, COPD. Risk factors such as exposure to noxious particles and gases, particularly tobacco smoking, but also occupational exposure to gas, fumes and dust are related to development of both COPD and NIR. The aim of this study was to investigate whether COPD is a risk factor for developing NIR. The population cohort called Adonix, comprising over 6,000 randomly selected subjects from Gothenburg, Sweden, aged 25 to 75. The subjects performed a spirometry and answered a questionnaire with questions on upper and lower respiratory symptoms and diseases in 2003. After five years, the included subjects were asked to answer a follow-up questionnaire. This figure explaining our study population. We excluded all non-responders at follow-up. We also excluded everyone with a positive answer to asthma and near at baseline. At last we excluded everyone who did not answer the near question at baseline and or at follow-up. Our study population included thereafter 3612 subjects, where 677 developed near during the follow-up period. NIR was defined as nasal obstruction, nasal secretion and or sneezing attacks without uh, having a cold during the last five years. COPD was defined as a spirometry ratio of FEV1 over FVC under 0.7. Here we can see the results in the univariate analysis. COPD, atopy and smoking was significant associated with the development of NIR. In the logistic regression model, the results showed a 1.44 times higher odds of developing near when having COPD. Ex-smokers, current smokers and subjects with atopy also had a higher odds of developing near. This longitudinal population-based study of a large cohort shows that COPD is a risk factor for developing near. Smoking and atopy are also risk factors for near. The results indicate that there is a link present between upper and lower respiratory inflammation in near and COPD. Thank you for your time.